Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. It's seven days to die. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm doing great. You grab your drink and your tasty treats, and we're going to have some fun today. I'm thinking of going on a little bit of an exploring trip. I was just going to kind of follow this road. We're going to pass the one house, and we're just going to keep kind of following it. We're going to see where it leads to. That's kind of what I want to do, and I'm going to, of course, put that to some music and pass forward it. Uh, the next step is this is where I put our campfire. We also have a cooking pot. I found the cooking pot in the oven. I've looted all this stuff, unfortunately. So, yeah. So, that's why I also built some wooden ladders. You can throw that in here. Throw the cloth in there. Let's just throw this stuff here. We'll keep it here so that we will just have extra. Maybe we'll grab, we'll keep the glass jars. Uh, we do, we are infected, so that is a problem. That is a big problem. We have 19 hides, so we need animals. So if we find any animals, we're going to have to, of course, do that. Have my seeds and everything ready for when we have, like, a hoe, so that way we can kind of do that stuff. And, yeah, so it's almost 4 a.m. So what I want to do in here is I want to knock these things out as well, because this is where I want to put the forge. I might put one or two forges. Depends on if we're staying here or not. I also built a way down with some ladders going down. We're going to go down for a bit and then we'll kind of create a big chamber down there and then go from there for some mining. Up here, I kind of cut this out. This is kind of going to be the floor of this place. And I'm going to build a floor. I'm going to basically cut this out and we're going to have a flat area up here, which should provide adequate defenses for you know any kind of horror days and whatnot like that. I also placed a bunch of spikes all around, so that is pretty cool. We'll leave that open. So we will we'll definitely need to knock this out at some point. Let's scrap this bad boy here and let's carry on.
Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. So we're back here in our... Oh, look at that. There's a cooking pot right on top there. You see that? I never noticed that up until now. So I was looking up. But anyways, we're back. And so let's deposit this stuff. We have enough animal hides to make our our bellows. So let's do that right away here. Because we need this forge up around. Oh, what? there's two recipes. Ah, cool. You can use animal hide or leather. That's cool. We're going to use animal hide, so because we can, because we collected enough. So that's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put this stuff all away, and I'll be right back. Okay, we are all organized. So next order business. So we have the bellows. We do have the cooking grill. Let's deposit this into our place right now. Bang. So now we just need the beaker. So let's cook up this stuff. So we have a bunch of water that... I collect it, which is right here, the bottled murky water, right? And then I want to make some some meat. We're going to eat this stuff up, I think. And, yeah, I'm going to have some water here. Okay, cool. So let's see. Let's cook up some meat here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make some bottled water. So we're going to do that. Just hit cook. It's going to turn on automatically. And then I think the grilled meat is better. So let's cook about five of these bad boys right now I guess and that will do that let's deposit this stuff back let's fill up on some foods here yeah cuz I think the water is okay let's do that let's actually eat up since we're starving man so that's awesome folks 
so we got the ranches in the other house. There's a couple other houses nearby, and there's that huge town that that we have nearby. So excellent. So we should be able to get the books out of there. Uh, there should be books in each of these buildings here. There's also that camp that we left that loot at. Man, there's lots of cool stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have drank. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. So next order of business is we need to build that forge. And I think we need a bellows, and sh a short iron pipe clay pipe and I think yeah, we need more stone I figured we would need more stone so let us do that let's find some stone did we loot this no we didn't loot this cool so it looks like there's still some garbage piles so I'm going to uh, you clear these out in the immediate area here around the base because we're not ever going to yeah we're not ever going to achieve that so achieve that what do I mean well we're not gonna ever kinda leave this area I don't think for long enough for it to respawn so we can probably just you know, delete those bags right cuz they're they're just yeah they're not important so let's pick up these rocks first I don't want to waste smashing on these because we want a pickaxe right and once we have the pickaxe then that will be way better to hit these rocks with so if we can we need to do it this way so let's try and and find three more stones. You can also throw stones. I'm not sure how good that works with zombies, if that can kind of make them go a different direction. I haven't really experimented with that because, yeah. But I've heard that that it does exist and there is a thing like that. So you know, maybe one day we'll have to kind of check it out, maybe. All right? So, the plan right now, of course, is that forge. So, oh, there's a lot of stone here. Yeah, picky, 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 uppy. <laughs> oh, man. So, what was I saying today? I was saying something about easy peasy lemon squeezy or something like that. We got to get these. We have to get rid of these things. These things are in the way. Oh, these are actually little trees. That's hilarious. I don't think I... I, don't pl I didn't plant these ones. I planted couple other nearby here all right you know these ones here along the way so yeah cool so hopefully you're all enjoying this series it's it sucks that I'm infected so how long how long will this last for infection so I have you're infected use antibiotics so am I only stage one or is there any stages or will it just kill me after that's interesting so there used to be stage one, two, and three, but maybe it's just a big timer. So hopefully we'll find, yeah, hopefully we'll find um, some pain pill or not pain pills, but either some potassium. Well, we don't have a beaker, so we can't even. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't even make pills like the the antibiotics for it. So I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. <laughs> so yeah, it's weird. I I didn't really think about that. Okay, so do we have enough rocks? I think we do. Let's go craft. Bam, 35 seconds. So, do we have, we do have, do we have, I'm going to grab those spikes out of here. So we need to place more log spikes around the house. I'm going to use stone axe to, rep uh, to upgrade with, I think. This will do it faster, but right now we're limited with the wrenches. So let's just throw this stuff up there. Maybe we'll try the wrench. We'll see. You'll see. So let's see here. So I want to do something interesting with this part here. I want to kind of create a way of attacking through this. Maybe using these poles like so and just keep doing it. Or, or I was thinking of just removing this and kind of creating a different entrance in and out. I think that's what we're going to do. So in the meantime, we're just going to place all of our spikes if we can. Or wood log spikes or whatever. Just gonna place the first row here like so, and then hopefully with that mine we'll dig into some uh, resources and yeah, and then we can kind of upgrade all these further. Looks like we need clay to upgrade the flagstone, which is interesting. Yes. Yeah, so with this it takes two instead of the f the three I think. So that's pretty awesome. But I think it does use the durability up, so that's the only unfortunate part. But if we keep enough durability in this, we could probably use it for crafting the workbench. 
because the workbench needs a wrench, claw hammer, mechanical parts, all that fun stuff. That's the next kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to make my decision. I'm going to basically knock out all this stuff because we don't need it. And so yeah, but with the forge, we'll be able to do a lot more. So let's just place another row of spikes. We need to do three rows of this basically. Wood, log, spike. Let's do another what? Uh, 25. We can't. We can do 15. We need more wood. So let's kind of knock this stuff out here. These stupid bushes. Come on. We got that one. That one. We got a tree here. So yeah, folks. So this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to basically place the forge. And I'm going to do some harvesting and all that fun stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So I did a bunch of harvesting. I collected a bunch of wood. Now we're going to come in the process of stone shovel. We don't need stone shovel. We need stone axe, actually. Uh, stone axe. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. So I'm going to place the forge right here, I think. Um, either there or there. One or, or the other. doesn't really matter. So let's equip the stone axe. So I'm going to destroy this stuff here and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We're going to place the forge right there. Excelente. Okay, so now to get this thing going, we need some we need some wood log spikes. That's the first things first. Wood log spikes. Let's make 15 of these bad boys. Okay. Let's also make some wood frames because we need to make what about I don't know 25 of these ones so so we have that and that okay perfect so we're gonna place another forge here maybe I think we'll just stay here we're close enough to the town that we can just kinda run there straight this way so it's not a big deal so we'll of course start up here and loot the town maybe we'll kinda make a base out of that house there potentially but we're gonna stay right here because there should be resources underground plus there's a lot of clay I have a feeling there's a lot of rocks, so we should be able to build a nice wall around this place after. So we can kill the zombies with, and yeah, and then build a farm nearby, and yeah, we should be able to survive out here. We have enough kind of lootable stuff we have here, we have some houses here, so we definitely we have a road going down here, so I'm not too worried. We'll definitely find some cool stuff. So... So what I wanted to do, I wanted to smelt some of this stuff. So I want to smelt some of this stuff. And I think I want to also smelt... Oh, we have eggs. I should have made bacon and eggs, actually. Yeah, I should have made that instead. But that's okay. That's okay. So, you know, here's the iron stuff. So we, uh, this is what I want to use to, to smelt into the forge. We're also going to smelt that into the forge, since it's lead, right? And then we should smelt that, which is smelt the broken glass. We should smell these cans into there. That's uh, money. So maybe we'll carry the money with us. So that way we always have it with us. And what else can we smelt in here that we can kind of get uh, get rid of? I was thinking of smelting these parts, but you can combine them with other parts to make them better in the workbench. So we might just keep that the way it is. But I don't really see anything else other than what I have on me to smelt. I could be missing something, but I think we have everything. Okay, so let's smelt this stuff. So basically, to use the forge, it's, it's just like the campfire. Put some stuff into here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just put five in the beginning. We do need to make an anvil, which we can do right here. It takes 200 iron and a bunch of clay. So first things first, we want to smelt that raw iron. We also want some clay here. I did pick up a bunch of clay. So we do want to smelt that into here, like so. We don't want to smelt all of it because we, won't, well, we can always dig some more up because we do need this to make all kinds of metal and stuff like that. So right now we'll just turn it on and slowly this stuff will get deposited in there. But in the meantime, I want to smelt this other stuff as well. And so yeah, so we have a forge, which is amazing, on what, on day two. And so you know we're coming up to day three here. So with the next episode, we'll probably work around the base, 
probably do some more looting of the, of the structures probably and then kind of work on the base in the evening as always and uh, overnight here I'm probably gonna work on the roof a bit maybe kind of make a tool or two and yeah and then we'll be back in the morning so thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one bye bye